All right, so you have a external hard drive that you used to w use on your Windows computer, and you just put it into your MacBook, and now you're trying to transfer files from your MacBook to your external hard drive, and you're not able to. For example, under devices here, you can see U32. This is my external hard drive, okay? Now, if I wanted to move something from my external hard drive to my MacBook, I have no problem. So I can move this folder to over here, no problem. However, if I want to move it back in from my Apple computer to my external hard drive, see that brown circle with the at, with the uh, line through it? I can't. Okay, see, I can't do it. Now, why is that? Well, if I uh, double tap on my U32 over here, and I go down to Get Info. You can see the reason is is because my file system is formatted in NTFS, basically where only Windows can write to it. Now with NTFS, uh, your Mac, your Apple computer, it'll be able to read it, but it cannot write to it. So what do we do? Well, if, if you want to, if you format it in a uh, FAT file system, uh, FAT32 or XFAT, then it's, um, it's compatible both ways. Uh, it can, uh, you can transfer to an Apple, to a Windows, and vice versa. So what do we got to do now? Basically, what you have to do now is Whatever files or folders you want to save, what you can simply do is just drag and you can drop that onto your Apple computer. I can just drop it right here onto the, my, um, my desktop here. And the thing is I can't drag all of these because these files are way too big. So I'm just going to show you, for example, just we're just going to save uh, this one here. I've already backed this drive up my Windows computer because, again, my Apple computer, um, this is like 300 gigs right here. So anyway, so once you uh, move everything over to your um, your Apple desktop, then what you can do is click on this magnifying glass in the top right hand corner. And then what you want to do is you want to type in disk utility up oh, right here. There's disk utility right here. You can double tap on that to open that up. And here we go. So if I look down at external down here, you can see this uh, U32. Again, that's my external hard drive. Uh, let's see here. This is a 500 giger. And if I click on the second one here, it's, wow, I used, this is like almost 300 gigs. So I don't have enough room on my Apple computer. So I'm just showing that one folder here as an example. So you just want to go ahead and type, tap on your uh, external. You may only have one on here, okay? If you have stuff on there, you're going to have two. But click on the first one here is fine. And then you want to go ahead and tap on erase. And then you want to go ahead and name it. And then under format, now there's several things. Let me just go over these really briefly, okay? Uh, this uh, o OS X extended is basically the default for the uh, Apple uh, Apple computer, but you can only, it, it's only for Apple, okay? The same thing with this OS X extended. This is one, this one's case sensitive though. Uh, this one basically is for, um, for example, like let's say you have a, um, a file named uh, file.doc and another file named file.doc but the F is um, capitalized then you're not going to be able to um, transfer that over. Anyways the default recommender for the apples is, is this top one here. And then if you go down here listen carefully with these two. Okay, We have a MS-DOS FAT. This is basically the um, FAT32 if you guys remember that from the DOS days. And then we have a newer fire file system here called the XFAT. Now, what is the difference here? I mean, for me, I always go with the FAT32, but let me just give you um, a quick information between these two. And you can decide which one you need. So the MS um, DOS right here is FAT. Basically, this is FAT32 again. Now, you can transfer between uh, both of these. You can transfer Windows and Apple. Okay, but this one here, you can do. Tra uh, you can transfer from like Windows, uh, Apple, Linux. You can also transfer files from gaming systems like uh, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360. Uh, the Wii. The only limitation that you're going to have on this one is you cannot transfer files more than four gigabyte in size. Okay. Now, if you're going to be um, moving any file that's more than four gigabyte in size, and you need to go with the XFAT. Okay. This is the one that I recommend. I mean, four gigs. Like, come on. If you're recording any videos in 4K, you know, a decent length of videos. You're going to have more than four gigs. Even if you download it, uh, put a DVD on there, it's going to be more than four gigs. Anyways, I recommend this one. If you're not going to be um, transferring files on gaming systems, 
and you may have more than four gigs um, of the transfer, then just go with the X fat here. So right there, and then simply we're going to tap on erase here. And remember, it is going to erase everything. Give us a second here. And this is basically asking me if I want to back up with Time Machine. You can decide later. You can you can use it as a backup disk. I just don't, I'm just going to go don't use. Okay, now we are done. That was quick. That just formatted like 300 gigs. Okay, and then from here, what we can do is let me go ahead and open up a finder here. Let me and here's my my U32. Here's my external hard drive. Let me just uh, go into Git info and let's check this out now. Oh wow, there it is. XFAT, I got 500 gigs available. And then from here, what you can do is, is your file that you saved onto your desktop, you can just drag and you can uh, drag and drop that back onto there. And that's pretty much it. You're good to go. If you guys if you have any questions or need any help, just comment below. All right, thanks.